What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Damian Cryer, and I am back with another video. I hope you guys are having a wonderful, blessed, and amazing day today. I ain't gonna lie, man. Your boy is doing okay. Y'all hear that, man? Every time I start vlogging, doing an intro, that dang on phone starts going off, man. Your boy is feeling pretty important here lately. Uh, just kidding. You know the rest. Sort of kidding. Anyway, guys, your boy, man, your hair is starting to grow back. Look at that, man. Y'all see that gray coming back in? Pretty soon, the old man, as some people call me, old ass man, it will be putting that black dye spray back in his hair pretty soon. See if I can take myself back a couple years. I don't know. Some people say, Damien, you look younger with all your hair off, but you look better with your hair on. Me, I'm confused. I like and love myself. I like and love myself either way I look because I am happy with myself. So I know you guys are probably wondering, what is the drip for? What is you all dressed up for today, man? Because I'm going to great pull this prank on my son, Darian, just to see how he reacts. Basically, as you guys know, I have been single for about five months now. And you know, I kind of had to give myself a little bit time to readjust, you know what I'm saying? Start mingling around and stuff, you know? Exploring my options because you know you only live once man. And yes, I have met someone. Um, she's a very very sweet person um, Let's just say I'm happy. I'm very happy and I'm very very content. So anyway, your boy threw some clothes on the day Because um, I'm finna great pull this prank on Darian. So Darian's be like dad You be on the phone all the time dad. You be up late dad. You know, I'll be hearing you laughing and giggling He's like I like that dad because you so happy now you always smiling I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm good. So I'm finna great pull this prank. Darian's in the front room. He just left McDonald's. His butt is tired. And I got my son, Dion, baby crier, as y'all call him in the comments, baby crier. He's in my bedroom knocked out as well. Darian's in the front room on the couch knocked out well. So basically, I got my little drip on and I'm finna great wake Darian up and tell him that my nurse invited me to her house for dinner. And I gladly accepted her offer. So basically, she's been trying to get me to come over for dinner for a while, you know, but I've been a little bit standoffish. You guys know how that is, you know what I'm saying? You need a little bit of time to recuperate, find your way back. And I found my way back. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell them, you know, my nurse invited me to her house for a dinner date. She's gonna cook me dinner. She knows my, I mean, she literally knows all of my favorite food. She knows I love steak. She knows I love fish. She knows I love cabbage. You know, it's like, she knows what I like and I know what she like. So. I'm gonna be like, listen, man, she made me a nice dinner. We're gonna have a glass of wine, you know, have a little, you know what I'm saying? A few little drinks and stuff, whatever like that. But the catch is, I'm sure Darren's gonna be cool with that because he probably think that they're going with me. But the twist is, I'm gonna tell Darren, I need you to stay here with baby crier and watch him while I leave the house. And I'll be gone all night long and I will be back tomorrow, which is Saturday. Today is actually Friday. Now, this is just a prank video, guys, so I'm absolutely not gonna leave my 13-year-old at home alone and definitely not gonna leave him at home with his seven-month-old brother. I would never do anything like that again. I'm gonna say this again for other people who like to talk crap in the comments. This is just a prank video, guys. Nothing more than a prank. Most of it is a prank. But anyway, guys, it's getting hot out here, man. It's so freaking hot, it's sweaty, man. Comment down below, guys, if you think I look nice. You know what I'm saying? I can't show y'all my whole get up, because, you know what I'm saying? I can't, I just can't do all that. But anyway, I'm gonna take y'all in here, show y'all baby crier. He's in the bed, knocked out, man. Uh, I think I got him for the rest of the night. Anyway, I'm gonna great take y'all in here, man. Let y'all see baby crier. Again, he's not woke, he's knocked out. And uh, just go from there. Got him. Let me turn this TV down, guys. Guys, I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I think Dion, Dion is starting to teeth a lot now. He's he's teething, he's cranky, he has not, he's been with me for a day and a half now, guys, and he still haven't had a bowel movement yet. So I've been really, really concerned about that. Like, he was crying earlier and he was like, I picked him up and I'm up burping. Uh, I fed him. I didn't overfeed him because I had a habit of overfeeding him. I think like once or twice I did overfeed him and he, he, you know, like he had a really bad stomach ache. But obviously he couldn't say, hey dad, I have a stomach ache, stop feeding me. But today I didn't overfeed him, but I did feed him. And um, 
yesterday morning when he came to my house, he ended up eating a whole entire thing of his food. And I'm really impressed because when I first introduced him to this food, he would only eat like a little bit of it. But now he eats all of it. I'm actually gonna show you guys this food that I got him. It's gonna get like a little dark for a second, guys. So I'm gonna show you this food that I got him. This food right here, I got like different kinds of this food. He doesn't eat half of it. He eats the whole entire thing. This stuff right here, I've been, he ate one jar of this. Well, he didn't eat the whole jar like two weeks ago when he was with me. So he's been eating, he fell in love with this stuff. And it's like, when I put this to his mouth, he'll pull back, like, I'm sorry. I will actually squeeze a little bit in his mouth and pull back and he will literally be like, really cranky, like hold his hand out and he wants more of it. So I give him more and now, Dion actually eats the whole entire thing and I'm so excited because I'm glad to see him not only just drinking milk and stuff all the time He's starting to really eat the baby food and he's really loving it and I'm really impressed to see my son Eating you know like baby food so who knows maybe sometime in the near future He will be able to take like little small bites of regular food. So anyway, look at this boy man Let's set the camera right here, hopefully. Hope this works. That's it. Can you see him? I can see him. happy that I'm invited to dinner? I mean, aren't you happy? You've been telling me that I need to go on a date and stuff and start getting out meeting people, right? So I met somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. I've been wanting to really, you know, just go over a crib and just kick it with her. And, you know, I'm going to need you to do me a favor because, you know, I'm, I'm going to be gone all night. And I'm probably going to be back until, what's today, Friday? I won't be back until maybe tomorrow or something, Sunday. Okay, hey, so you want, what you want me to do then? I mean, I want you to keep the yard. I'm all, I'm all, damn, I'm only 13. I'm, how am I supposed to watch it? You what? How am I supposed to watch it? I mean, watch him the same way I watch him. Feed him some food, give him some milk and stuff like that. Yeah, but he's not gonna do nothing but just sit there and cry himself out. I mean, that's cause he's teething and stuff, son. He's teething. Don't you want your dad, to, what's more important? Your dad to go on a date? For me to leave you here with a little baby that you can't watch. I need them. So it's not good for you going to date? You can, but it's like, I'm not gonna have you leave me here for a day. I mean, you know how to change his boo-boo, don't you? Like if he boo-boo and stuff. You don't know how to do that? If you know how to feed him and birth him. So you telling me that I can't leave you and Dion here all night long while I go on a dinner date? No. So I gotta get undressed and just put my other clothes back on? Yes, put your shorts on. It's literally going stony outside. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about if we do this right here, Darian? 
How about if I take you and Dion with me, but y'all sit in the car until tomorrow? Nope, we're going with you. Inside the food place and inside her house. But I didn't say was going to a food place. I said that she's cooking dinner for me. Mm, guess what? Me and him coming with you. So y'all gonna sit in the car all night? Yeah, no, we coming with you. No, nope, ain't no sitting in the car. So it's so you don't want to wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. So are you hating on me? I ain't hating. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna sit in the car. I t so I tell you what, can you sit in the car and keep Dion for like five hours? Nope. You gonna be in the driveway, or I just pull a truck in her garage and we can just nope. I'm gonna tell her to open the door for me and him. But but what if we don't let you in? I'm 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 a bang on the door like I'm a bang on it. I'm I'm trying to kick it down and do whatever. <laughs> Hey, get mad at me all you want. You can try to swing on me. I don't care. I'm, just, I'm a bang on the door like I'm a police officer. I'm telling you. So it's not that you don't want me going to dinner date. You just don't want me leaving y'all here by yourself. Huh? <laughs> yes. None of that. None of that's happening? No. You say you coming in the house, huh? You and Dion both. Yes, sir. Okay. Well, it's a prank, man. I'm not going anywhere. I already, I already had dinner. I just threw this on, man, just to... Get your reaction and see what you was gonna say, man. I just wanted to prank you. That's all. Cause they've been telling me to prank you. It's you guys' fault. Y'all told me to prank him, didn't y'all? Don't lie in the comments. Y'all told me to prank Darian again. So you wasn't going, huh? What is up with that face? What is up wrong with your face? So let me ask you this. If Dion wasn't here, being that you're 13 now, if Dion wasn't here and I wanted to go on a dinner date. Would you stay here by yourself? No. Absolutely not. You know why? Because I would never put any of my kids at risk by having one of my minor child children at home by themselves, guys. But anyway, we good. It was just a prank video. I know you tired, man. I know you sleepy and stuff, man. Guys. That rain, oh my God. Yeah, guys, listen, it, man, we was driving earlier. The rain was so freaking heavy. We had to turn our, our hazard lights on and we couldn't even see not even five feet in front of us. That's how much we freaking... driving back from the, uh, McDonald's, bro. Yeah, it was bad out there. He had McDonald's, not me. I had me some, what's that restaurant called? Root Pours. Root Pours. Root Pours. Common if you guys ever heard of a restaurant called Root Pours. It's a little expensive, but it's a very, 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 very elegant, very elegant restaurant. So if you guys live out here in the Texas area, or if you guys have a root pork where you guys live at in your state, you guys can check it out, man. The steak, the shrimp, they even sell fried green tomatoes. Like I said, it's a fancy restaurant, but it's really, really nice, man. But anyway, I'm gonna go in there and check on Dion, guys. Hopefully he's woke so you guys can say hi to him. Cause his little butt, man, he, he literally just went to sleep a little bit ago. Let's see. He's still knocked out, look at him. He's still, look at his little feet growing. Look at his little feet. He is knocked out. I better leave him alone, guys, because he had a really, really hard night last night. Like I said, I think that he's a little cranky from the teething. Um, I end up going to get him some Ambien and stuff like that to help, like, put a, like to put along his gum lines and stuff. And it seemed to help him a little bit because right when I put the Ambien on his gum lines, he has stopped crying and stuff immediately. So. Hopefully that's all it is, is that he's cranky. But my main concern is I think he's constipated because I changed his diaper multiple times since he's been with me. And there's like a little brown in there, like he's trying to use the bathroom, but he hasn't had a bowel movement since he's been with me. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. Um, I was actually gonna take him to the doctor myself, you know, cause I didn't wanna take any chances, but comment down below if you guys got some type of remedies that I can do to try to figure out how to get him unconstipated because I'm not for sure. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this this prank video, man. I love you guys. Until next time, I'm Damian Cryer. And I'm going to see you in the next video.